Good morning, St. Paul. My name is Dylan Wichich, and here are your morning announcements. For all grade 11 students choosing courses for next year, the Exercise Science course, PSE for You, is being offered next year, provided enough for students to sign up for the course. Please see your guidance counselor for more details. If you are in grade 10, 11, or 12, then listen up. This year's semi-formal will be held on Friday, February 18th at Lee T-Port Convention Center. Tickets will be sold starting next week directly from Ms. Calderelli, only for $45 each. Get your tickets before February 4th at the reduced early bid price. After February 4th, tickets will be $50 each. Purchase your tickets during 3A lunch in room 225 or 3C lunch after school in room 205. Tickets will not be sold in the cafeteria. This year's theme is Candyland. It is sure to be a sweet night. Hey St. Paul, listen up for the exciting lights out contest during period two from Monday, January 10th till Tuesday, January 18th. The goal is to conserve energy by turning off half the lights uh, or using no lights in, at all in, in your period two classes. Ms. Cazaro's environmental science class will be doing random checks to see how well you're doing and see how well you're doing without using less lights. The class who conserves the most energy will win a free pizza lunch, including pizza, chips, and a drink. Lights out means energy saved and free pizza. And now time for sports. The boys varsity hockey team played a strong game against Father Gates yesterday. Midway through the second period, the Wolverines opened the scoring with a shot hand breakaway goal by Anthony Safera. However, Gates realized try, uh, trying the game in third we, with six seconds to go in reg regulation and shot hand once again. St. Paul wins the faceoff, allowing defenseman Cameron Ramos to fire one last shot that, tr that trickled the net into the .4 seconds on the clock, giving the boys another W for the season. And now a word from Mr. Schmidt. Good morning to the St. Paul community. They are actually called shorthanded goals, and I am so proud of our Wolverines hockey team last night, uh, pulling off that marvelous win because, uh, as we say, we do everything with heart and playing one less than the opposition, it always demonstrates our heart. So, this is the end of the first week of 2011, and we have exactly 11 school days remaining, and I want to encourage all students to make sure that over the next 11 days that we keep our eye on the ball with respect to our studies, our punctuality, that is to say we do start at 820, being in class at 820 is what the expectations are, not pulling into the parking lot there, parents. So let's demonstrate some leadership so that we get the day off to a good start. On the uniform side, no need to trickle down away from the standards that we've kept up to this point. So we will be taking a very, very hard line with respect to that. Whether there's snow or not, everybody understands the drill around our uniform. And lastly, and probably uh, as important is, we're looking ahead to something that I've mentioned to some of the members of Student Council and to some other students that I do want to bring to people's attention. Our school board, in their infinite wisdom, have made uh, some decisions that we're going to be moving forward uh, in our secondary schools with some wireless opportunities. And I do want our student body and parents to know that that is something we will be trying to take advantage of as quickly as we can because this will allow students in our library particularly who may have a netbook or a 
notebook uh, to bring those in and to use them with a wireless capacity. So stay tuned. Uh, we are looking at that as an opportunity. The song of the day is Letters to God by Angels and Airwaves. Have a fantastic weekend and Friday at St. Paul.